Hey guys, you see this sun that's on me? Damn it. <laughs> um, like new shits and new giggles. That sun's hot, man. I feel it burning my arm. And that brings us to the next issue. Um, Anyways, these two clowns just walked right out in front of me. I had to stop. I was kind of baffled because I was like, really, is this happening? Like, look, this lady over here on the house while she's still shaking her head. Like, what the hell just happened there? It's like... <laughs> they just do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> and which brings me to the next point, man. You really have to be on point, on the ball, on point. Eyes dotted, T's crossed, and on your Q's, baby. P's and Q's. This city is no damn joke. Talk about going against the grain and messing up in the first damn place. Like, seriously, for real? Like, does insurance cover stupid? I don't think it does, does it? Like, if somebody just lately walks out and causes you to stop? I don't know, man. That's kind of scary stuff. Again, it's the spirit of the uh, land in this day and age where, it, you know, everybody's on stupid. You got the CERN cranked up and it's knocking off the people's uh, ability to... It's kind of like a misfire in the piston system uh, amongst the spark plugs in the piston. So that, uh, you know, you have eight pistons, eight spark plugs, and they fire and if one misses, you've got a miss. <laughs> and so you might even get a little stutter in your episode there. Nevertheless, um, I, think I, I just wanted to mention that. I got distracted from what was going on, guys, but I was talking about the sun. And if you take a minute and go sit outside for about 10 minutes and just let the sun beat on your arm, don't do nothing additional. Don't add no uh, liquids or, you know, safe hazard remedies. Now, I'm not trying to get you to hurt yourself at all. I'm just trying to bring it to your acknowledgement the fact that the sun isn't really the sun. And it's actually like a, you've been to a, a place to get a suntan, indoor suntan. Well, that's basically what you're messing with. The sun has gone through its life cycle and is at the point where it's actually burning out before it jump starts and kicks itself back in again really hard to explain I like to keep it simple so just let me throw it to you that way anyways when this happens at the same point in time there's a lot of other things going on um, we are actually passing through a meteor uh, belt um, in outer space and so a lot of meteorites have been hitting the earth here lately more so than ever before and so, you take the sun, you take the sun, and the sun is a big part of the magnetic pool. I mean, it keeps the balance, right? So if you do away with that sun and the moon for its balance, we, the Earth is already off its axis by four inches. Uh, that was about three years ago and more. It was, you know, definitely increasing. To what it is, I don't know, but scientists, have, even in all their corruption, have, have even stated that this has happened before, and the Earth has shifted its north and south pole uh, poles. What? Seriously? Yeah, and it's not noted that they literally had just switched places, but I heard that in uh, people talking that they said, hey, yeah, uh, so basically the north and south just switched places. But then I've also heard that where they said uh, the north and south 
the North Pole being the primary pole, uh, had actually shifted and was no longer this way in this spot, but was over here. And so that's when you get, where you end up getting all the breaking up of the Earth's crust, the uh, mass shift of land masses, and uh, volcanic eruptions. All that stuff comes uh, behind, just behind all that, okay? It's indicative of each other. Anyways, not gonna drag out this long video, but I just wanna touch base on that and say, hey, guys, this is what's up. Welcome to the Naughty Grump Show, part two. Peace.